Hello, good afternoon. My name is Usahini Kunwe and I'm a virtual intern with Harlem Solicitors. As part of my exit formalities for the virtual internship, I would be delivering a lecture on the topic, the technical and regulatory specifications for the installation of base transceiver stations in Nigeria. In considering this topic, the first important question that should bug our minds is, what are the laws that govern the erection of telecommunications masts and towers in Nigeria? And we'll be considering two primary laws. The first is the NCC guidelines of technical specifications for the installation of telecommunications masts and towers 2009. As we proceed in this lecture, we'll be referring to this law as the NCC 2009 guidelines. The second law is the NESRA's National Environmental Standards for Telecommunications and Broadcast Facility Regulation 2011. And as we proceed, we'll be referring to this law as the NESRA's 2011 regulation. Now let's consider the first. NCC stands for the Nigerian Communications Commission, and it is the body that regulates the telecommunications industry in Nigeria. NCC was established by the Nigerian Communications Act of 2003. Let us note that the NCC was first established by the Nigerian Communications Commission's Act of 1992. However, upon the enactment of the Nigerian Communications Act of 2003, the Nigerian Communications Commission's Act of 1992 was repealed. NCA 2003 in section 70 vests the NCC with the power to make its own subsidiary legislation and it's upon this power that the NCC has enacted the NCC's 2009 guidelines. The NCC 2009 guidelines provides for standards to be adhered to by telecommunications operators and service providers in the installation of telecommunications masts and towers. Now we'll take a pause and consider Nestra. NESTRA stands for the National Environmental Standards and Regulations Enforcement Agency. Following the Cocoa Toxic Waste Saga of 1987, the federal government promulgated the Harmful Waste Decree of 1988, which facilitated the establishment of a body that was known as the Federal Environmental Protection Agency, FEPA. FEPA was, however, flawed with a number of deficiencies, one of which was that it lacked an appropriate enabling law on establishment issues, or rather, on enforcement issues. And so, this led to the enactment of the Nestra's Establishment Act of 2003, which then gave birth to Nestra. Nestra is a parastatal of the Federal Ministry of Environment, Housing and Urban Development. In Section 34 of the Nestra Act, Nestra is also vested with power to make its own subsidiary legislations. And it's upon this power that Nestra has enacted a number of regulations and guidelines, one of which is the 2011 regulations. And so now we'll consider the specific provisions of these two laws as it relates to the establishment or rather the installation of telecommunications masts and towers. The NCC 2009 guidelines provides for a minimum setback of 5 meters from the leg of the tower to the demised property without the fence in its belief that electromagnetic radiation does not have any adverse effect on human health. Nestra, on the other hand, in its 2011 regulation, provides for a minimum setback of 10 meters insisting that electromagnetic radiation has an adverse effect on human health. And so we see that there are conflicting provisions in these two laws. This led to a superiority fight between the two bodies in 2014. As a result of this fight, a mutually agreed decision was reached by the two bodies. And the decision reached was that a minimum setback of 7.5 meters must be adhered to where 10 meters cannot be achieved. Telecommunications masts and towers that predate the Nestra's 2011 regulations and are in violation of the NCC 2009 guidelines are referred to the NCC for remediation. The NCC 2009 guidelines further provide perimeter setbacks to be complied with as regards the heights of towers. It provides that for residential areas, the maximum height of towers must not exceed 25 meters. It, however, further provides that provides that it may exceed 25 meters where these conditions are satisfied. First, where the approval of the NCC is first sought and obtained. 
and secondly where five meters is adhered to a setback of five meters is adhered to from the demised property it provides that for commercial areas the maximum height of towers must not exceed 150 meters but it may exceed 150 meters if firstly the height of the tower would not have any effect on the general welfare of the public and secondly if it would not have any adverse effect on the neighborhood and so we have seen the provisions of the NCC 2009 guidelines and the National 2011 regulations as regarding as regarding the standards and technical um, specifications to be adhered to, adhered to in the erection of telecommunications masts and towers. It is important that telecommunicators, operators and service providers adhere to these provisions as a violation of these provisions would attract a penalty from either of these bodies. I hope that with this short discourse, I've been able to shed light on the concept of the technical and regulatory specifications of um, the installation of telecommunications masts and towers in Nigeria. Thank you.